Now for this question it says in the table below match each equation with the letter of its graph. And I'm afraid this is something that you've just got to learn. So if we're looking for the first one, we're looking for y equals sine x. Well, if you look here, this graph here, c, is going to be the sine x. Because you think of sine x at 0, um, it's going to be 0. At 90 degrees, it goes to its maximum there. And then at 180 degrees, it comes back to 0. So the first graph, y equals sine x, is going to be that one there. The cubic graph, now if we're looking for a cubic graph, it's going to look something like that. So let's look through, and our cubic graph, the only one that fits that is going to be f. The next one, 2 to the x. Now what we know about the 2 to the x graph is that if x is 0, so if we've got x is 0, you would have 2 to the power of 0, it's going to be 1. And as x gets really small negatively, so as x tends to say minus infinity, it's going to go to an asymptote. So the one that we're looking for, this is our 2 to the x graph. That's going to be a. And then the other one that you need to know is any graph that's like 1 over x or a number over x is going to look like h. And this type of graph has an asymptote there for the x-axis and an asymptote there. An asymptote is where the graph doesn't actually touch the axis.